This is lesson 61 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson is titled Comparison with the Greater Than Operator. And it says the greater than operator compares the values of two numbers. If the number to the left is greater than the number to the right, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Like the equality operator, greater than operator will convert data types of values while comparing. So this is similar to what we went over in the last lessons and it's just saying you can also throw in string values of numbers and it will uh, also work. So 5 greater than 3 comes back true because 5 is greater than 3. 7 greater than the string value of 3 will also come back true. 2 greater than 3 would come back false because 2 is not greater than 3 and a string value of 1 greater than 9 will also return false because 1 is not greater than 9. So the instructions say add the greater than operator to the indicated line so that the return statements make sense. And down here tells us test greater than with argument 10 passed in should return 10 or under. And we can actually make this happen over here by, okay, so the test greater than function, which is this function here, when we pass in 10 into val, we want it to return 10 or under. <clears throat> so these two would have to evaluate to false. And we would go into similarly like previous lessons, go into our if statements where val is, and here we would do greater than 100 and here we would do greater than 10 and this would actually make it work because when 10 is passed in and it runs the code inside of our function then first it's going to check if 10 is greater than 100 which would return false so it would not run any of this code then it will do the next if statement which it's going to check if 10 is greater than 10 which it is not because it's actually equal so it would not run the code inside of here and therefore it would just return 10 or under because it is actually 10 so that would uh, make all this work. Let's say we had 101 in there. It would actually return over 100 because it will go into our function and do the first if statement, which is going to check if 101 is greater than 100, which it is. And it returns true. So it will run the code in the curly braces and return over 100. So that should be it for this lesson. When I run tests, it should say over 100. And it does, let's say we do um, the number 11, it should have returned over 10, which it does. If we were to do 9, then it should do 10 or under, and it does. So that's it for this lesson.